Beginner growers, check this out. I'm going to take you through how to grow. I thought it was difficult at first, but it's not. The weed, it's a weed. That's what they call it, a weed. It wants to grow, honestly. Start off with the northern lights, a Hawaiian lightning, as you shall see. Strong indica strain, start you off. Easy, very easy, very hardy. I've nearly killed my plants before and brought them back and cropped hard. You'll also crop up to 18 ounce in a one by one meter squared tent. Um, I actually cropped 14 and a half ounce my last crop. Here's some pictures of what you can achieve. You can achieve this if you follow my method. And I'll see you on the other side. Great people. I'm a killer, that's why. Okay, subs or viewers, UK mainly perhaps because the prices and stuff are going to be UK based. Right, you've seen those images. I'm no expert, trust me. Weed wants to grow. If you're a beginner, it's easy, especially go for a strain. Go for Northern Lights. It's so easy to grow. It's a strong smoke. It doesn't stretch much. You get nice close-up buds, if you've seen the micros. I mean, you can crop up to 18 ounces in a one by one tent. Uh, the one that I've got is a 0.9, it's three foot by three foot. Um, and my second grow, uh, well, the second grow images, the images on there of the one plant was about 14 and a half ounce. So, all right. Just let me light this up. Your initial layout in England, and this is buying from shops. I, my initial layout was about £300, but that's buying it all from a shop. Online, I'm sure you'll get it all for 200 Good thing about Northern Lights, you don't need a carbon filter, because it hardly smells. And what it does smell of while it's growing is almost like sweaty, sweaty sort of socks. Um... And then you got a bit of a smell for the two week period, but you're doing a small tent, so you, honestly, you've got no worries on that respect. Um, and there's ways around it anyway. So for so for say a two hundred and fifty pound payout, and you're gonna you're gonna crop if you follow my method, you're gonna crop at least ten ounce, at least. Uh, and if you use the market value, uh, what's that? Two thousand two hundred pounds. And you've got all your kit apart from your consumables to go again. You set up, so I'd advise anyone to do it. Northern Lights, or as you'll see as this series progresses, there's also um, um, a Hawaiian genetics from the grasshopper, which is also indica dominant and very easy to grow. I'm get, uh, and there's a bit of a little surprise at the end for anyone who's starting up a grow in the UK or Europe or anywhere actually. If they're an actual full beginner, full beginner, when they buy the kit and I see they've got the set, uh, ready set up, I'll send you out some fucking awesome Hawaiian genetics. Who's got Hawaiian genetics in UK? Easy to grow. I'll take you through it with uh, a grow that my friend has got going on at another place. And yes, so Northern Lights and Hawaiian Lightning are very easy to grow. They're hardy as hell. I mean, uh, during my first grows, I mistreated them. You know, forgetting to water them and the limp and any water them, they'll pop straight back up. Honestly, those things could survive a nuclear a nuclear winter. 
So that's why I suggest don't go for your uh, hay strains and all that when you first start growing or your skunk in your tree because they stretch too much, they stretch too much, you, um, uh, you won't get much yield, they're harder to grow, they're more uh, disease prone. So I'd go for an, uh, an indica and I would go for Northern Lights or Hawaiian Lightning. Yeah, so what you're going to need is you you only starting small, but get yourself a one by one tent in the shop. I bought it from it was seventy pounds. Yeah, I've just got a little list here. Yeah, um, you need a light reflector bulb, which comes with your four hundred watt power ballast, which is a big heavy thing that sits next to the tent and doesn't blow your electrics because it's four hundred watt going up against 240 so yeah so you got that and it also comes with a free light and that was um six uh, free bulb 400 watt bulb and that was 60 pounds some lengths of chain very important and carabiner clips because how you're going to have it is uh, clipped up to the top top bar of your tent you're going to have it on long chains doubled up so you can move it up and down with your carabiner clips to wherever you want it exactly in that tent and you can move it across that way, that way, up a bit that way. So yeah, chains and carabiner clips, you can never have enough. Two times clip fans, I've got some over there for inside your tent. Um, this time of year is the best time, the best time because you're not going to get any heat issues at all and it's going to be perfect 23, 25 degrees in there now here my new new method is a uh, one pot in a one meter tent a big massive five or six gallon pot and train it all down and stuff but for you uh, an absolute beginner i'd suggest three pots three three gallon pots by four pop five seeds hopefully you'll be popping hawaiian lightning um, pop, pop, pop all five, yeah, plant four, um, and check which one, you'll, you'll know pretty soon which one's going to be your runt, uh, and then get rid of that and have you free in there, and make room for them, um, uh, yeah, I'm getting ahead of myself. Right, you need two two times scorpion I use, scorpion seven inch extractor slash intake fans. They're about £45 each, so that's 90 You're going to have one blowing air in, with ducting, I do, and an adapter, so I can have it just, just slightly out my window, so it's sucking in fresh air. And then an extractor that I also have going out the window, well hidden, you know. You don't need a carbon filter as well for Northern Lights, that's a good thing, it doesn't stink like that doesn't stink like that I've done eight grows so. northern lights all right yeah so you're gonna uh, you're gonna need a bag of canna because you don't use soil fire it might this is my advice on your first grow use canna canna cocoa uh, it's a lot easy, easier in my opinion uh, so you'll need a medium bag which is cheap and a small bag of perlite the perlite is absolutely crucial because those roots when they're growing through they want they, they want air pockets. They want little pockets in it and things uh, in the perlite that they can grip round and, and grow through. So it's t so so this, they're soilless. So the cocoa is uh, aerated really well, drains well. I mean, without I'd say the difference of perl perlite and without perlite, you're looking at ounces. Um, I use thirty percent. I'll put. A bit of soil in, tip a bit of perlite in, mix it up, watch the cloud of fucking that come up and do it again till you get to the top. Yeah, you're gonna need uh, just one five meter aluminium ducting. I'll go for the aluminium stuff, it, it just pulls out to five meters long, and that's all you'll need. That's all you'll need. Um, and some uh, duct tape obviously and adapters as well because your, adap your 7 inch adapter won't fit your um, ducting quite right so you need that you can get them in any DIY store 
another adapter that um, is even comes out even thinner that I put actually out my window covered with a t-shirt sucking in the fresh air right and then your nutrients canna go for canna a it's canna a and b same size bottles um they'll last you a couple of grows you know same size bottles um we'll get to the feeding regime in another video but same size bottles and a pk 14 slash 15 booster but that won't be used until you're in flower so they, that that all together cost you about 20 pounds yeah, other things you'll need is a jerry can timers good quality timers um clips you can never have enough clips yarn um duct tape and some sharp trimmers right um so yeah get it set up get your fucking seeds fucking popping well, get everything first before you start doing any seed popping get it all set up make it as good as you can and then yeah literally you'll be fucking you'll be well away if any if any beginner that now wants to start a grow um i'll happily in the next few weeks three four weeks while they're getting together the kit i'll happily um send them some hawaiian lightning hawaiian genetics cross between alaskan thunderfuck thunderfuck Alaskan Thunderfuck and a strong city, but that's in the cost, so it's about 50 50. It's good for a first time grower. So, yeah, if any of you can show me you've got your setup ready, boom, I'll hook you up, hook you up, man, because you get mad results. You've seen that. I'm gonna leave you now. I'll show you a few clips on the way out of what you need. Peace up and Big love to all you new growers in the UK. Keep it fucking fresh. Honestly, follow my series and you will fucking, you will crop what I've cropped. Because I'm no expert, trust me. Peace out to everybody. Sponsored by Grasshopper Genetics and affiliated with Legion of Bloom. Peace to my peoples.